Hi, this is Info Puppet. I'm going to show you how you can take a face and make it look like it's coming out of a tree. It is so awesome. You are going to absolutely love my next Photoshop Elements tutorial. Photoshop Elements 12 is open up. This will work fine in PE 10 and PE 11. Let's look at the images we'll be working on. Love them. Now we're going to go to the toolbar and select the lasso tool. Now with the lasso tool, it looks really hard. You just see a thin gray line of just left clicking, holding, and dragging the entire way around the circle. The idea of this is just to select the face and not at the black area in this image. Okay, there are the marching ants I just released. Now we're going to come up to the top and I want to select the word select and then inverse. So that selects everything but the face. And now I just hit delete or on my keyboard or backspace for PC. But the white's there. Now if I double click on the lock and select OK, I'll be able to push delete on my keyboard or backspace for PC and finally get rid of that background. Now I'm just going to tilt the image so that she's not looking at a slant. Straight up and down. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to come up here to Enhance. And I'm going to go ahead and select Adjust Color and Remove Color and the color's gone! Black and white only! Okay, now we're going to go ahead and slide her over to the tree. And I'm going to resize her. And I really didn't find an image of a tree with a really thick trunk or fat trunk, so I'm just going to put it on the bottom. And now I'm going to turn off layer one, which is the image of the woman's face. So we're just looking at the background right now. This is an important step, so what you're going to do now is select Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. And a radius of 1.5 will be fine and select OK. It's a little blurred now. Now I have to select File, Save As, and you can call this whatever you want. I'm just going to call this One Tree One. What does that mean? Who knows? Make sure you save it as a Photoshop file, a PSD. It won't work if you save it as a JPEG or PNG. Alright. Now what we're going to do is I just hit Undo, so the Gaussian Blur is gone, and I brought the layer visible again of the woman's face. Now we're going to come up here and select Filter, Distort, and Displacement. Now I'm going to go with 8 and 8 for horizontal and vertical, and Stretch to Fit and Repeat Edge Pixels, that's default, that's fine. I'm going to select OK. Now I have to find the file that I just saved. There it is, one tree, one PSD. This is how Displacement works. I'm going to select Open. And what Photoshop Elements just did is it created the texture of the tree bark on the face. That is so cool! Now I'm going to come up here and switch the mode from normal to overlay. Now look, you can't see it too good, but I wanted to do this to show you how to fix it. I'm going to go to Enhance, Adjust Lighting, and Levels. And I want you to notice there's a slider down the bottom, but we want the input level slider, right? Right here. I'm going to move the black over, and this is going to create the darkness in the image. I'm going to move the white slider over, and it's going to bring more white in. What we're doing is really increasing the contrast. And now I'm going to select OK. Now you're going to see the magic's going to happen. So let's go ahead and go to the Layers panel, change Normal to Overlay. But we have to make sure we select the, the image of the layer of the face. Now here we go. Look at that! It is so totally awesome! Now you can see it's a little bit brighter, so we're going to fix that. We're going to go to Enhance, Adjust Color, 
and adjust you in saturation. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to just work the lightness uh, slider and bring it down just, look, wait, it was on the whole image. Make sure you're on the image of only the woman's face. So I'm going to go back to enhance, adjust color, adjust you saturation. Now I'm on the image of the woman's face. I'm going to bring the lightness down and it's just blending right into that tree. I will tell you, if you use a child's face, it doesn't work too well, but if you have a grandma and a grandpa you love to do this for, they will be perfect! It's the perfect present! Turn your grandparents into a tree! They will love you for it! Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment from Info Puppet.